Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, March 1st, a table set before me. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day, for my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. John 6 verses 54 and 55 Eternal life is the receiving of the living elements in the scriptures, the doing of the will of God. This is what is meant by eating the flesh and drinking the blood of the Son of God. It is the privilege of all to partake of the bread of heaven by studying the word and thus gain spiritual sinew and muscle. Each one must appropriate the blessing to his own soul or he will not be fed. You know you would not be nourished by seeing a well-spread table and by others eating. We would starve if we did not partake of the physical nourishment and we shall lose our spiritual strength and vitality if we do not feed on spiritual bread. The table has been spread and Christ invites you to the feast. Shall we stand back refusing bounties and declaring, He does not mean this for me? We used to sing a hymn that describe a feast where a happy household gathered to partake of the bounties of the board at a king father's invitation. While the happy children gathered at the table, there stood a hungry beggar child at the threshold. She was invited to come in, but sadly she turned away, exclaiming, I have no father there. Will you take this position as Jesus invites you in? Oh, if you have your father in the court above, I entreat you to reveal the fact. He wants to make you a partaker of his rich bounties and blessings. All who come with the confiding love of a little child will find a father there. Come to the water of life and drink. Do not stay away and complain of thirst. The water of life is free to all. Those who eat and digest this word, making it a part of every action and of every attribute of character, grow strong in the strength of God. It gives immortal vigor to the soul, perfecting the experience, and bringing joys that will abide forever. Our Father cares. March 1st.